Hey, hope everyone's having a good day. Mackenzie here with La Fontaine Classic Cars. Today is 65 Impala 409 400 horse. This is an L31. Very rare car. We're gonna go for a drive here in just a moment. Show you the ins and outs. Can't beat the black on black. I'm gonna show you what this thing can do. This is a well-oiled machine. There's that overdrive. The speedo's working. Our tack is at like 2,000 here. Just a hair under. Now we're in fourth gear here, but I'm gonna dare to slow us down a little bit. I'll drop a couple gears and we'll run through them here for you guys. This is my first time driving the car and very tight, very well together. I think I'm decently familiar, but I think I would go for a cross-country trip just like that. Sometimes you just know. Give it the old gusto. Very tight gearbox. Coming out of the brakes good and both all four are grabbing very nicely. Um, well proportioned, not pulling you all over the road, no vibration. Very good. So our blinkers coming on. We'll see if this cancels out on its own. It sure does. A couple of turns up here. And this one does it at ease, even at low speeds. Very smooth cruiser with plenty, plenty of go. All right. Hood opens up nicely. Dang. This motor looks as good as it sounds. It is very clean under here. I know this is the original uh, numbers matching engine block. Um, this is at L31. So it's a 400 horse, 409. As this is an early production 65 car, they did away with the W engine in as ha halfway through the year. So everything else after this would have got a 396. And just 740 of these cars ever got the 400 horse, 409. So pretty badass. Um, so you got a power steering down low. I love seeing a little uh, spare wiper fluid in here. Very cute, very class, looks good at the shows. Got the right hoses, the right clamps, the proper radiator. Even the sound mat up under here. It's got a newer AC Delco battery with our power kill switch. There that goes. Um, yeah, super clean, dual snorkel, four barrel, everything you could ever want. And as you saw, this thing runs out very nicely. Uh, we're going to make our way around this car. I want to give you guys an up close look. Um, someone, someone might be a prospective buyer today and want to get you that up close and in person look. Now we've got T3 headlights, um, four of them, which is awesome. Had a very nice chrome. The grill looks, doesn't look like a new piece, but it shows very well. It's very bright. Um, corner here I see very nice fitment nice even edges all the way around the 409 badge tells it all if we come down the side of the car you're gonna get a look at what really puts this all together those black steelies with the dog dish cap they're killer this thing is totally gangster we got a brand new set of tires on here um, there's a sleek look this thing looks totally stock and factory which I like as you come down the side of the car you're gonna get a good look at our panel fitment um, I think it's killer I have to believe this is probably nicer than what it would have been back in 65 did a really nice job the paint on this car is very impressive and this thing is straight as we uh, make our way to the back something very iconic for the 65s those taillights are really, really doing it for me. Um, nice whip look. 
kind of has a spacey sort of feel. But these look like newer, newer replacements. They're in very good shape. Deck lid, that big sweeping glass. This is a sharp car. Downstairs here, we got our gas fill. Everything looks to be nice in here. See some new hardware. Very good. Pop the rear boots open. Opens very smooth. Nice. Our courtesy light is coming on. Very well detailed out here, just like showroom new. Um, I'll get you guys a good peek at this in our listing. This is receipts for a new motor, our gear vendors overdrive, tires, this, this, and that. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. Good to have with the car. And yes, the motor in this thing was just rebuilt. Full size spare with the jack and lug wrench. If you look deep into this big old trunk. All right, we'll see how it closes. Man, the fitment on this thing is really nice. Very straight all the way down and around. Uh, it looks like all the glass in this car is original with the exception of that windshield. And it is completely without blemish. That windshield looks like it might have been put in recently. It looks great. Beautiful. All right, so gotta say something about it. These doors open so smooth. Um, not sagging, not falling off. Your door cards look fabulous. Everything is present. Now, we've got this big 409, but this one actually got a bench seat in it. It doesn't have the SS trim package giving you buckets or anything. You can get real close with your passenger. You got a four speed on the floor. It's a beautiful wood grain wheel fixed to a tilt column. Uh, that tilt is factory. You see a aftermarket tack on the column there. And the speedo on this puppy runs all the way up to 110 miles per hour. Um, in the center here, we've got our AM radio. And then below that, or next to that, I'm sorry, we have our factory tack, which is currently in op, and that is why we've added the, uh, the auxiliary one over there. Um, down low, I want to talk about the shifter here. Um, four speed, of course, it's a Muncie, but it has the gear vendors overdrive unit attached. So you see a wire running along it and the button sticking out of the side. Um, you can cruise this thing at like 2000 RPMs while you're doing 70 miles an hour, which is really, really nice. Makes this a hell of a cruiser. Got our Fisher body tag belts here looking nice. Got our glove compartment all nice and tidy. And this one does have the uh, original owner's manual. Um, just to let you know what kind of oil is in it. Pretty cool. Now taking it to the back. Looks very plush. The seat is in great shape. Um, our package tray is wonderful. The headliner is tight. Nothing negative to say back here. All the hardware is there. The dome lights are working. really sorted car. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it in just a second, but I want to get this in there. We teamed up with a really cool foundation. It's called You Can Survive. They raise money for cancer research, trying to make a cancer free world. And we're actually giving away a Bronco. I'll put up a picture here. It's a 75 Bronco. The giveaway ends the, I think, June 1st. Um, I'll put a link down below. You can click on that, buy a ticket to get entered to win it, or make a donation, buy a hat, buy a t-shirt, whatever you may like. Um, and now about this 65 Impala. Really cool car, lots of cool options. This is pretty special, not being an SS, getting all this motor, power seat, lots of fun stuff. 
Um, my number is 248-714-2110. Dial it up anytime. Uh, we'd be happy to talk to you about this ride, how we can ship it, finance it, you name it. And um, lastly too, I'll put that, our email, and a link all in the description. This link will have our full photo gallery, close-ups of all the paperwork, all the stampings, everything you want to see, and of course some underbody pictures. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video.